it's Bev again. Um, before I start this video, uh, some of you are watching this video on YouTube and other ones on Instagram. So if you're on Instagram, you know that uh, everybody was complimenting me for allowing my husband, you know, to uh, be my hair colorist during this COVID time. And, you know, I think he did a pretty good job. Um, but I wasn't as brave as you're saying I was because no way was I going to give him a pair of scissors. That's real bravery. But anyway, back to the video. So um, today I want to talk about water. I mean, we all know water is good for us, right? And we all know we should be drinking at least eight glasses or eight cups of water. And this is only eight ounces a, a cup, right? Um, but most of us don't drink enough. Um, or some of us drink too much, which is a bit surprising. And some of us don't even recognize when we're thirsty, which is a bit alarming. But apparently when you get older, what else is next for we agers is that you don't recognize when you're thirsty. Anywho, um, back to the video. Now, rather than you looking at my back all the time while I'm writing on the board, I decided to just write a bunch of stuff down and I'm going to walk my way through it so you can understand... Um, why water is important to your fitness gains. Um, now, water content, the water content in your body runs anywhere from 55 to uh, 70%. And you might wonder, well, where the heck is all that water? So I made a list for you. All of these tissues have a particular water content. So for instance, blood is as high as 80%, which is very important, right? You want, uh, you want to control the viscosity of your blood. You don't want a thick blood that can't get through your arteries and carry nutrients and oxygen. Lungs are 80%, um, 80 per, 80 percent water. So of course you want, you want lots of water in your lungs so you can um, breathe well. Uh, the brain is 75% water. Muscle is really high at 75%, whereas fat is only 10. Bones are 25. So bones, um, you know, you want lubricated joints, right? When you're working out. Uh, and skin is 20%. So if you've got crepey alligator skin, I'll bet you're dehydrated. That's the problem. Um, and, you know, a lot of people think, um, oh, you know, I'm running on the treadmill and I'm, I'm sweating a lot, so I'm burning a lot of fat. No, fat's only 10% water. <laughs> you're just dumping a bunch of water through your pores. And as soon as you drink some water, it's back. Okay, so water is very, very, very critical for your life. I mean, obviously, oxygen is the most critical thing, but water is the second most critical thing. You can go a fair length of time without food, but not very long without water. And all of this, as soon as you are down um, by only 2%, in your water content in your body, you are officially dehydrated and you should be feeling thirsty. You know, I mean, it's terrible to only feel thirst when you're already dehydrated, right? Um, so, uh, and the other thing I want to say is um, not all fluids, no fluids actually are equal to water. You need pure water for your body. Your body never treats fluids the same as it does pure water. And by fluids, I'm talking about food that has water in it or um, tea or coffee or whatever. They all have various additives, right? Coffee has caffeine, for example, which is dehydrating to your body. So water is a very, very significant component of a successful weight loss program. Okay. And, and that's something pretty dear to you, right? So let's look at your workout performance in terms of being dehydrated. So if you're low on water, as I said, your weight loss program or goals are going to be compromised. Um, you're not going to be able to get rid of a lot of toxic waste if you don't have a lot of uh, water to move that through the kidneys and out through your urine. Um, your metabolism, your ability to burn calories is going to be depleted and your electrolyte minerals will be diminished and you need electrolytes you need electric currents um, by your muscles for those contractions right it's very difficult to contract a muscle and that's when you're going to build muscle 
to a bigger size. Um, so the electric light minerals that get diminished are uh, could be sodium, potassium, um, magnesium, phosphate, and um, so what's going to happen is you're going your cardio power is going to drop, um, your muscle weakness will increase, and your as I said your 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 contractions and extensions are just not going to be um, as easy, and. So, you know, that's that's why marathon runners, for instance, are always drinking water and guzzling a bunch of liquid electrolyte, um, you know, uh, paste electrolytes and whatnot. So um, if you care about growing lean muscle tissue, then you need to care about the volume of your muscle cells. And remember, we said muscles are 75% water. Um, so you need to care about the hydration of your muscle cells. Um, and and you, need, you need to do that because um, well hydrated muscles will decrease protein breakdown, okay? Um, and also water, um, um, is water forms, um, let's say the the lubricating, uh, the makeup of the lubricating synovial fluid in your joints, right? And you want to ensure a healthy spine, um, and you so you want um, you want to you you want to be able to exercise without any pain. Um, the other thing is, um, as you release fatty acids uh, for energy, right? Fat for energy, uh, you need you need to get rid of fat soluble toxic um, waste that is released in that way and for example ketones one of them and so uh, you know those are stored in fat cells so as you release them you you want to be if you're up in your water content then um, you're going to be able to to dilute those toxins much more and you're going to be able to uh, expel them more easily through your urine so Hydration, very important, right? If you're on the gym floor. Now, there are a lot of myths about water. I mean, a lot of people think that water accumulates and adds weight, and, and they, they, which is not true. And they think that sweating um, is the sweating of, of uh, fat, right? I'm getting rid of fat, I'm running on the treadmill, I'm losing a lot of fat. No, you're losing water. And as soon as you leave the gym and you drink any kind of water, you're just replacing the water in your body, um, but people think that that they lose weight when they when they um, lose water um, because they lose weight when they lose water. They think when they drink a lot of water that they're going to gain a lot of weight, but that's a myth. The opposite is actually true. Um, when you're down in in uh, water content in your body, when your body is dehydrated, um, your kidney kidneys actually have to hang on to a lot more water so that they can flush those. Uh, toxics and, and the byproduct wastes. So um, uh, if you drink the right amount of water, it's kind of a beautiful, um, I like to call it a flow through cycle. Um, and your body really enjoys that. Everything is kept more balanced. Um, but, but proper hydration is such a delicate balance. It's really a balance between fluids and minerals. And because it's so delicate, if you drink too much water, you can actually become hyperhydrated. Now, it's pretty hard to do, but it is a possibility. And um, what it does for your body, and it's certainly not good for uh, exercise performance, um, but normally you any excess water in your body, you urinate it out, right, or sweat it out, whatever. Um, but your kidneys can only clear one liter of, of water per hour. That's pretty well the limit. Now, and so for various people, you're, you're talking maybe 20 to 24 liters of water can be eliminated by the kidneys every day. Now, if you have, if you're drinking more than that, if you're drinking more than one liter an hour and more than 24 liters a day, then the surplus water is going to dilute your electrolytes. It's going to affect your muscle um, contractions. And 
Some people will even get severe headaches because think about it, your brain is 75% water. So if you have these um, swollen brain cells, look out, you're going to get major headaches. And um, before I go on, I will mention that sometimes I've seen women who don't eat a lot. They drink a ton of water. They're running on the treadmill all the time. Uh, they don't get into the weights. And then they wonder why they have these terrible headaches. They're hyperhydrated and they have no caloric energy, right? So they're losing a lot of muscle and they're uh, body fat percentage is going up as a result. So they got lots of saggy arms going on. That's another another video, right? Um, anyway, you get muscle weakness and uh, you can get cramping. I don't know if you've known anyone with leg cramps, but often the doctor says, oh, you got to take some electrolytes. Well, you could. this could be happening because you're hyperhydrated. Uh, and surprisingly, you can even get thirsty when you're hyperhydrated. Um, you know, the whole thing in, in your cells, what happens at this, this um, there's never really a balance between the fluids inside your cells and the electrolytes outside your cells. The electrolytes are all over diluted and, the, the, you know, things are running back and forth trying to get balanced. And it's just very, very difficult on your body. So um, if, if you want a quick and dirty test to know if you're hydrated properly, look at your urine in the toilet bowl. If it's, um, if it's almost clear, then, um, and you know, with only a bit of a hint of yellow, then you're nicely hydrated. Now, if, if you're dehydrated, it's going to be really, really a dark, dark yellow. Um, now some medications will make your, your, um, your urine kind of a, a psychedelic bright yellow and, and that's okay. It can be from antibiotics, antibiotics, um, uh, let's see, laxatives, uh, muscle relaxants, different things. If you have to be on some of those, that's fine. At least you know why that the urine is that color. So, um, um, and, and the other thing is some people, um, I've said this in another video, when they get thirsty, they think, oh, they don't think they're thirsty. They think, oh, I'm hungry. And they run and eat some food. But that does not alleviate any of these issues, right? So uh, for me, what do I do? Well, when I get up in the morning, I drink a glass of water. Um, I drink a glass of water before every meal. I usually drink a glass of water after every meal. Um, if I'm... Um, uh, uh, if I'm having a drink of wine, I like to have a drink of, of water in between each glass. Um, before I go to bed, I have a drink of water. And of course, I'm old. I get up in the middle of the night to go to the washroom. And I often have a little bit of water then too. So keep yourself hydrated. Make sure you don't get hyperhydrated. And you will be able to work out a lot better. Your contractions will remain stronger. So... I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned from it. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, hopefully uh, I don't have to get my husband to do my hair again. And it's getting pretty long, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tough it out. Okay? All right. Talk to you later. Bye.